Hi there, welcome to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is declutter your mind to make room for love. Sometimes we just have to get out of our own way. We don't get it that our repetitive thinking is what is bringing things towards us that we might not necessarily want in our life. We keep repeating a pattern that isn't working for us, but not understanding that we're doing that. This is why it's so important after every relationship you have that you sit down and you really critique what went on, what ended it, how, what was good about it, what was bad about it. What would you change if you could go back with them again? So what is the most common phrase that runs around in your head when it comes to dating and relationships? I can bet you that it's probably not something that's helping you meet the person of your dreams. It's probably something that's a little stuck, something that's happened to you more than once and so you are afraid of it. So what happens when we're afraid of something? And it can be commitment too, and that's another thing you want to figure out if that's a problem. But you are saying things like, oh, why should I bother? It's just going to happen again. Everybody's this way, everybody's that way. Dating sucks. I don't like what's happening in the dating world today. You're just not meeting the right people. Everybody's there just to have a fling, just to get laid. All these things are running through your mind. But if they're constantly a negative repeat, that's what you're seriously projecting to the world. So often when we're busy with our lives and we've got a lot going on that we're happy with what we're doing just for us, we tend to meet people out of the blue. Kind of interesting how that happens. But it's not really that unique because you're not thinking about it and putting out negativity it has a chance to come towards you. It's just common sense that when you're a happy person, you do put out a different energy, a white light, so to speak. And when you do that, people are attracted to you. They want to come and talk to you. They want to come and meet you because you have got things to say. You're fun, you're happy, you're energetic. So if your mindset is cluttered with those old, phrases over and over and over again, even though you might not be even saying them out loud, you're just thinking them, it's still going to keep you stuck. You want to get rid of them. So when you wake up in the morning, rather than think about the fact that you're single and you're alone, once again, start thinking about something else. Start your day with something that you're really happy that's going on in your life that you're grateful for. Whether it just Maybe it's your, your beautiful little pet that's sitting right beside you. Maybe it's one of your best friends and you're going to have lunch with them that day. Be thankful for those things. The common denominator is you. It's all, like for each of us, it's who we are. That's who brings people towards us, repels people away from us, gets us the job we want, all those things. And it's all about confidence, it's about attitude, and it's about belief. You want to keep believing and if you make mistakes in any part of your life, analyze what happened and work with that. Try and figure out a better way so it doesn't happen again and be thankful that it happens so that it doesn't happen again because now you know what to look for. Look at it that way as opposed to that defeatist attitude where you think that nothing's ever going to happen for you. We all have down days. We all have things we have to work on. Deal with it for a little bit. Allow yourself to be sad or angry for that time frame and then turn it around. Don't be mad at the world. Don't be angry with everybody because they've got more than you or they've got stuff going on in their life and you don't have it. It's time for you to get it. And the way you're going to get it is by decluttering those thoughts that have been stuck up here for a very long time. Once you figure it out, you can really see clearly and say to yourself, oh, yeah, okay. That was my fault. I did that. I own a lot of stuff that I did when I was younger, and that's why I do these videos, is to help people get it earlier. Don't keep repeating something that isn't working for you, because you deserve to have love. We all do. But if we keep saying things that aren't working for us and it's not happening for us, it's not going to. You have to believe and believe that you're worthy because you are and try a different path. 
forgive yourself for some of the choices you've made. Forgive yourself for thinking and feeling a certain way and start changing up what hasn't worked for you. Don't give your past so much power. Don't give an ex so much power. You broke up for a reason and it will eventually be very clear why that happened. But in the meantime, know that somebody was looking out for you. They weren't meant for you. You're supposed to be somewhere else. So if you keep thinking about all this stuff that didn't work out for you with them, it's, you're not really getting the whole point of why you're not together anymore. And you're giving that person way too much ownership over what's going on in your life. And that's not okay because you deserve to move on and to be in a better place and to meet your special person. If you stay stuck thinking about all these things that didn't pan out for you when you thought they should have, you won't meet the person you really are ready to move on and have love with. Our mind is very powerful and it can be very, very stubborn. But the good news is it can be deprogrammed into thinking in a more positive way. If it's something that's been stuck since your childhood, you might want to talk to a professional about it and help them get to the bottom of what's actually in there, what needs to be removed from your, your thoughts. Just do anything you possibly can to think happy. Put yourself in happy places. When you get to the point where you're thinking happy thoughts more than you're thinking the other thoughts, it becomes really addictive. And it gets to the point where you just don't really notice the, the negative stuff anymore because you're too busy being optimistic and happy with what's changed in your life and what keeps coming towards you. And I really hope that after you listen to this video that you will start thinking a little bit differently and just understanding that it's you holding you back. We all have our, our years, our moments of what goes on in our life that maybe we're not proud of, but it doesn't mean that you can't be a better version of who you are. Long drawn out thing today, but I just wanted you to understand that sometimes we just don't get it, that it's us that's keeping great things from happening. And it's really not that hard to fix it. You just have to be aware of what's going on. Thanks everyone for listening to me here at Dear Cyber Sue. Please subscribe, leave your comments, like, like it. And um, please check out my blog at uh, cybersue.com. And I'm on Facebook at Dear Cyber Sue. And please come and join me there. I have posts put up every week on there and there's always something to fit everybody. Thanks so much for listening. Take care. Bye-bye.